Now I'd like to show you an example of how we would use this Thevenin and Norton equivalence to do source transformations to solve a circuit. So we've learned um, node voltage and mesh current methods. Um, this is actually an independent method. Um, it doesn't require um, finding our equivalent. We just have to basically um, sequentially do a bunch of source transformations until we simplify our circuit to just um, one resistor. So um, suppose, for example, we have a circuit like this. Let's let this be a 12 volt source. Suppose this is 6 ohms. We'll let this be 12 ohms. This is 3 ohms. Let's say we have a current source in here, too, of 2 amps. And this is 2 ohms. And here we have a 9 ohm resistor. So suppose we are asked to find the voltage drop across the 9 ohm resistor. Um, so if our instructions are to use source transformations to find Vx in the circuit, um, I'm going to go ahead and start at the left hand side. I'm just going to do a series of source transformations here until I get all the way to the right hand side. So let me show you how that works. Um, I'm going to replace this voltage source that's in series with a resistor with a current source in parallel with the resistor. So I'm going to call this my R Thevenin. So I'll let R Thevenin be 6 ohms. So then this is going to still be 6 ohms. And then I'm going to let this be I Norton. And by Ohm's law, I have that V Thevenin is equal to I Norton times R Thevenin. So if my V Thevenin is 12, if I divide that by 6, that's going to give me my I Norton, which is 2 amps. So I know that I can replace this and this with this and this, where this is still 6 ohm resistor, but this is going to be a 2 amp source. Great, so now I still have the rest of my circuit. So this thing is connected in parallel with a 12 ohm resistor, and I still have my 3 ohm resistor here. We still have this current source. 2 ohm resistor and my 9 ohm resistor that I'm interested in the voltage drop. So I'm making my way this direction. So now what I get to do is I get to do a simplification um, of these two resistors that are in parallel. So um, if I want to replace this with one resistor, um, I know that our equivalent between the 6 ohm and the 12 ohm is 1 over 1 over 6 plus 1 over 12. So this is going to give me a 4 ohm resistor. So I can replace these two resistors in parallel with one 4 ohm resistor. So now my circuit looks like this. I have my 2 amp source. That is now in parallel with a 4 ohm resistor. And I still have my 3 ohm resistor and my current source and then my resistors over here. So I'm going to continue to work in this direction. Now I'm going to do another source transformation. I'm going to replace my current source in parallel with a resistor with a voltage source in series with a resistor. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to let my R Thevenin be this 4 ohm resistor right here. And I get to just basically pop it up to this wire and replace this with a voltage source. So this is still my 4 ohm resistor. Now to find this V Thevenin, I use Ohm's law. V Thevenin is equal to I Norton times R Thevenin. So this is going to be my 2 amp source times my R Thevenin for this source transformation is 4. So I know that I have an 8 volt voltage source um, equivalent to this thing right here. I can replace it with this. So the reason why I wanted to do that was because now I get to pop this resistor up here so it's now in series with my 3 ohm resistor and that's very easy for me to um, combine those. So I still have this over here on the right side but now I can easily add these two resistors in series. The R equivalent between those two is going to be 3 plus 4 or 7 ohms. So now I'm continuing with my steps of making my circuit simpler. I have an 8 volt voltage source in series with now a 7 ohm resistor. 
I have still have a current source and I have two resistors over here on the right side of the circuit. So now what I want to do, I'm going to do another source transformation. So this now is going to be my, um, my V Thevenin is 8 volts, my R Thevenin is 7 ohms. So I want to replace this with a current source in parallel with my R Thevenin. So this is still going to be 7. This is going to be now my I Norton. So the way I find my I Norton is Ohm's Law. V Thevenin is equal to I Norton times R Thevenin. So is, this is going to be 8 divided by 7 is equal to I Norton. I'll just leave this as 8 sevenths of an amp. And now I have, um, I get to do something nice with these two current sources. So um, technically, the um, I Norton source, my 7 ohm resistor, and this secondary current source are all in parallel, right? Because we don't have any resistances up here that are um, causing any voltage drops um, at these nodes. So that means, if you like, I can actually like switch these around so that I put this current next to that current source, and that would be totally fine. And if I do that, then you can clearly see that if this is my 8 sevenths of an amp current source and this was my 2 amp current source that's still in parallel with my 7 ohm resistor and that is still connected to these resistors here this one was 2 and this one was 9 now um, we learned earlier in the module that if we have two current sources in parallel, we get to just add them. And the reason why that works is because of KCL. So this we know is 8 sevenths. This comes up to this node. 2 amps is coming up to this node. So that means that the result that comes out of the node and is delivered to the rest of the circuit is going to be 8 sevenths plus 2. So when I make that, um, that combination, I can now replace these two current sources with one current source. Um, I get 8 over 7 plus 2 gives me 22 over 7 amps. And this is now in parallel with the 7 ohm resistor. And then I've got the 2 and I've got the 9. So um, I'm still getting um, more and more simplified. I'm going to go ahead and add the 2 and the 9 together since these are in series. So this is going to give me a circuit with one current source and a 7 ohm resistor in parallel with an 11 ohm resistor. Um, so then I can find my R equivalent and that is going to be R equivalent between these two resistors is 1 over 1 over 7 plus 1 over 11 so this gives me, I get 77 over 18 ohms. So I can replace these two resistors with one resistor. This is equivalent to one R equivalent of value 77 over 18 ohms. And connected to that, I have a 22 over 7 amp current source. Great, so I have, um, through source transformations, I've whittled my circuit down to a very simple equivalent. Um, so originally I was asked for to find Vx. So what have I done here? I found um, the voltage that is, I found the current and the voltage that's supplied to this entire circuit. So um, I know from Ohm's law, V equals IR, that if I have 22 over 7 and I multiply that by my resistance value 17 over 77 over 18 this is going to give me 121 over 9 volts so this is going to be the voltage that is supplied to this equivalent resistance so then I can kind of back this up a little bit I know that if here's my current source that's in parallel with the 7 ohm resistor so this is going to deliver 121 over 9 volts to this resistor. It's also going to deliver 121 over 9 volts to the series combination of the 2 ohm resistor and the 9 ohm resistor. 
So then I can do a simple voltage divider that says that um, my Vx is going to be V source times my Rx over R equivalent. This is a voltage divider equation. So in this case, I'm providing 121 over 9 volts to my resistor in question that I'm interested in is a 9 ohm resistor, and my R equivalent was 11. So once I make this simplification, I get my Vx is actually, if this cancels, this cancels. This is just 11 volts. Okay, so um, the process here is the circuit that you begin with, you can um, start on one side and just do a series of source transformations going back and forth between voltage and current sources. And every time you do that, you can make simplifications, combinations of these resistors until you get it down to just one R equivalent with one source. And then you can go back and find whatever voltage or current that you're asked for in the circuit. So let me know if you have questions about that.